How's it going today, Pisces? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate you visiting my channel and tuning into my videos. Um, there's so many tarot readers that you guys could visit on YouTube and uh, the fact that you're spending your time with me is not lost on me. I really appreciate that. Um, so anyway, my name is Robin. This is Aries Fire Tarot. I'm not sure if I said that already because I'm on my third cup of tea. So a little high energy today. Um, doing general readings for the month of March and I'm using the Starman Tarot. General readings, guys, may or may not resonate 100%. Just keep what you feel like applies to you and leave the rest for another viewer on the channel. Okay. And um, I do take clients. All my information's in the description box. I'm going to keep that card, you guys. Oh, that just came out for Libra, too, as the first card. So, anyway, um, all my information is in the description box for you, like Facebook, Insta, all of that, because I share different content on those platforms. Anyway, enough about me. Pisces, it looks like you're going to have a bit of a a moment coming up in your future here. I've got the tower card. I'm not done shuffling. So I'm going to talk about the tower card and I'll show you the card in a sec. So the tower card, um, it, it talks about something that is going to change the course of your life and to remember your foundation of strength for any sort of situation that you could be going through um, coming up. And I'm seeing this for the next few days, actually, for some of you. Some of you could have actually gone through this already, um, or it could be coming up in your future. Um, when I'm doing readings, I don't see timelines really so much um, because time blurs and this is a collective energy. If I was doing a personalized reading, that would be a little bit different. But for the collective, this could be happening um, in any time on the space-time continuum. Dun, dun, dun. So anyway, I've got the tower card here for you guys. First of all, check out the beautiful artwork of these cards. I just love this deck. Um, something could be coming up. It could be something as small as seeing a billboard with a message on it that changes the way you think. Or it could be all the way up to something really significant happening. Um, you know, a divorce. Uh, leaving a job, something. It could be something that is just going to um, change the way you look at life and change the way you feel about things. And the biggest message here is to hold on to your foundation, like your your core beliefs, your your strength of character, all of that stuff, because that's those are the things that are going to get you through this situation. Um, and this is going to be a pivotal moment in your life. So let's keep pulling some cards here. I've got the alien here. <laughs> Such a weird deck. So the alien is the magician. Um, when we see the alien card, I've never actually pulled this card in any of my Starman Tarot readings. This is a reminder that you guys can, um, yeah, I'm hogging the card, deal with it, that you guys can manifest anything into your reality that you want to. So even if you are about to go through a tower moment or you have gone through a tower moment and you just don't know how to pull yourself back together, just know that you need to hang on to your positive thinking and remember your goals um, and just keep absolute belief in yourself that you can put your life back to right. If you're not currently um, seeing what you want in your reality, the alien card is here. It's so strange calling it the alien, but anyway, I'm not quite over it. Um, you know, you're the creator of your life. You know, things are going to happen around you physically, as in the tower moment. But, I mean, you're in control of the way you react to things, the way you think about things, um, the way you interpret things. And you can take any situation and use it to your advantage. This 
I got the King of Wands here. I'm gonna show you guys this card and apparently the king wears a skirt in this deck, but that's super cool. Um, think of a Scottish gentleman. So the King of Wands is definitely somebody that would, they are in control of what happens to them. They are um, really pulled together action oriented they like to get things done i'm getting the sense here that some of you pisces might be leaving things up to the flow of the universe so the king of wands doesn't do that he tells the universe what he wants from it and the universe provides it um So some of you could be, and this could just be your life right now, where you feel like everything's falling apart and nothing's really working out for you. But honestly, I'm going to ask this question, what are you doing about it? Are you allowing the universe to like bob you like a cork in the universal ocean? Or are you going to take control of your mind and your your powers of manifestation with the king of wands and definitely with the alien um and move forward on the course that you want to be on i see some of you are stuck in a place that you're thinking well how did this happen like what am i even doing here so you can do something about that and end that tower moment or moments or a lifetime of the tower energy upside down I don't do reversals because I just I'm gonna get an energy from the card no matter what it looks like you know so um, the next card I have for you and I just freaking love this card man ace of swords stunningly beautiful card so you guys I think all right I'm gonna hold up both of these cards right now because we have the tower so we have some some people watching right now. Some of you Pisces are really shaken up. You're lost. You feel like your life is a disaster. This might not even, like I said before, might not be related to one specific incident. It could be a string of incidents and you've lost your way and you just feel like, oh, my life sucks right now. But you have the Ace of Swords here, which is about a victory um, you guys can definitely take control. You have this in the cards for you. So um, winning is a state of mind, you guys. Um, like if you feel like you're lost and you feel like you're out of control, that is exactly what you're going to get. If you feel like you're going to take charge of your life and move forward and take advantage of what the universe is offering, if you can learn to like ride universal energy on a surfboard instead of like drowning in um, mishaps, like your life will change. Was that a magical moment or what? Um, yeah, so let's keep going. Man, another ace card, you guys, this is amazing. Um, ace of wands here. So this represents something really exciting about to happen you could have a really new idea here and i'd like to think that that idea is that you can create your own reality with the alien card you can have the powerful instincts and frame of mind of the king of wands um you are able to be victorious but you have to have the idea that you can do it. You have to have that frame of mind, that thought pattern, that stick to itiveness. You know, you need to feel as powerful as you are. Take your power back is what I'm seeing here for you guys. And you've got two ace cards, which are ones. So please go Google angel numbers one one and see what that says to you. Got the queen of cups here for you guys. Um, I don't know what she's wearing right now, but the Queen of Cups is somebody that is a very sensitive person, um, even though she might not look like it outwardly. She is putting on like basically a brave face for everybody. Um, she's very sensitive, like I said before. She can be very um, 
like sensitive to any sort of constructive criticism or what to do in any facet like just doesn't like to be have any sort of what is perceived as a negative feedback but feedback is feedback you know and you don't have to let it affect you um what i'm getting here to tell you is just because somebody says something to you doesn't mean that you have to believe them especially if it's about yourself and i think some of this tower energy is coming from letting somebody or a group of people run you down and you don't have to allow that you guys um the king of wands wouldn't allow that i mean you can take it in stride and say uh oh, thanks for that and move on you like you don't have to um let it affect you to the point where you're gonna miss your opportunities because you have a lot of high power going on in these cards you really do like i'm just seeing that the universe wants you to succeed this is like a wake-up call to you pisces like if you're feeling down or you're feeling out of control this is your wake-up call you are in charge of your life you do not need to allow the feedback of others to phase you and if it does let it go like i mean it's it's part of life we're going to react to what people say or do or think but it doesn't have to last all day or three days or keep you up at night you know you can just have that feeling for a moment but think something positive right away look the other way say thank you move on next you know what i mean say it out loud commit to that i've got the princess of pentacles here so um this is a message from the universe you have something coming in for you i think some of you might be trying to reshape your life um trying to move forward and you can make this happen you guys you can attract this into your life if you are only willing to do it if you're willing to stand up and say you know i want to earn more money i want to go back to school i i definitely want to improve my life you know i'm sort of done of being um in this tower energy and i think some of you are working at a job that is making you feel like like disastrous all day long i don't even think i said that the right way but you know what i mean where you just have this job that you hate i think some of you are feeling that from your employment situation um so if you would only have the positivity that you could change this for yourselves the universe is going to bring you something to replace this feeling that you're having of of not not being uh valued or being overworked you definitely are in control of everything you have so much powerfully positive energy coming in from the universe you just need to sort of find a way to open your eyes to that so um i'm actually doing seven cards for all the readings but i feel like some of you are really 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 stuck right now and you might not even know how to get out of this and me saying oh okay well you just have to open your eyes and think about it it really is that simple you guys but if you're really feeling stuck um it's hard to see that because you're too busy sort of in like in survival mode is what i call it so i'm gonna do one more card here for you guys i'm gonna do a deck cut actually So the card I pulled for you guys is the wheel card. So you do have an opportunity to move forward into your next phase of life. I think the only thing that you need to do here is master the Queen of Cups energy, which is outwardly looking very polished and on top of like on top of the world, but inwardly being very sensitive and keeping the illusion of bravery alive so don't just look the part be the part and you have to continually continuously tell yourself over and over and over again like your 
your positive affirmations. If you're not familiar with positive affirmations, YouTube them and listen to them while you fall asleep because that's when you train the subconscious part of your mind and it's the subconscious that drives the conscious. So I hope that makes sense to you guys out there. I wish you guys the best of luck and let me know how you're doing in your situation. I'm always interested to hear from people. I respond to all the comments, so uh, don't be shy out there. So thanks very much, you guys. I'm gonna leave it there and wrap it up. So take care, Pisces. Love you guys, bye.